The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. things running towering header well he would surely have scored there more times than not Casil Defence had him exactly where they wanted him there, didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Looking to shoot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Passes it through. to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Well, he needed to be much more precise, but that was very short on quality into the middle. Keeper's got good distance on that. Still goalless. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He's got through. And he's onside. Keeper got a hand on that and nicked it behind. like a good ball through out towards the flank up to meet it so what now it's one decent enough try well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and he'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Done very well to intervene. It's come loose. <laughs> Looks to slip it through. Danger averted for now. And the 
that'll be the final action of the first half. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, 0-0. Things going for the second half. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Tries a through ball. That intervention was very necessary. Now the pass. And they continue each to cancel the other out. Now the side really getting hold of the ball. Gets up to head it! They've scored! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Bordeaux take the lead, 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Bordeaux have to make a change here. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Get it forward quickly. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Tries a through ball. Get a throw in. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Looks to slip it through. Gets it upfield. Cuts it out. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. It was uh, He's a bit over ambitious, but I like his thinking. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Passes it through. It's anyone's ball. Really well taken goal. And surely that does it. Perfect time. Decisive strike. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, they say all goalkeepers are crazy, and after that, maybe there's some truth in it.
Stone could not have picked a bet. The final whistle. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, we know clean sheets are always an important ingredient in any recipe, and while delighted with the win, they'll also be very pleased to have managed a shutout. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.